Now, what's up, family? I'm Real Mike Rob. Make sure you tuning in to the Three Point Conversion Radio. They got all of it, and they keep it funky. Let's get it. Bottom line, it's tough to score. So we'll carry on. We keep looking for ways and answers to find, you know, ways to put it, the ball in the hole. It's putting tremendous pressure on our defense right now. The inability to make shots and put the ball in the hole. Um, it's tough. Our defense is pretty good when we when we get it set, you know, but um, we just got to continue to fight. Is there or are there button, buttons you haven't pushed yet? Hopefully I push them all, Will, and I'll keep pushing until I find them. Let's go to Richard Walker and then Jonathan Alexander. Uh, Richard Walker, CarolinaSportsHub.com. You, you're always talking about the importance of a fast start. They come out and score the first 10 points of the game, kind of what happened at that point. And obviously, I'm well, sure you tried had, everything you could to make it work. Yeah, we had good shots. I mean, you, we'll, I'll go back and look at it. You know, I, I don't think we had poor shots there to start. Um, obviously, they can always be better. Um, so, you know, Terry, five for 15. Tay got off to a pretty good start. You know, and one for eight from Jalen, Miles five for 13, PJ one for four. It's going to be tough for us on, on those nights. So, um, you know, we'll, we'll do our best to get off to a better start tomorrow. Uh, hopefully we can find some rhythm early in those first four or five minutes. When you look back to the Portland game and um, the Milwaukee game, you know, our last two wins, we got off to a pretty good start. So, and sometimes that's just making shots, you know, sometimes it's making shots. You know, maybe you, you can we can get some offense off our defense, but um, you just got to stick with it. And hopefully our defense can try to keep us in this. I know they scored 34 in the first quarter, um, but you know, hopefully our defense can create some offense for us. Let's go to Jonathan. Hey, uh, Coach, um, question for you. I, I noticed that P.J. has uh, been coming off the – Bench. I know he's just coming back from injury. Is, is that something you like him coming off the bench and something you may continue to do in the short term or, or how do you plan to use that? Yeah, I'm looking at all these options. You know, we'll, we'll look to see if we need to make a change there in the starting lineup. I don't know. We can look at it. You know, PJ had a good run the last couple of games. Um, I've continued to start miles at the four. We've tried Vern the last couple of nights. Um, you know, it, it's worked fairly well with them coming off the bench. The, a couple nights we've done it before this. Uh, I didn't see much there tonight, but we'll continue to look at the starting lineup. Maybe there's something we can do. We I'm not I'm not married to the starting lineup. You know, we could see a different group tomorrow. So we got to just keep plugging, keep looking for different things. You know, I'm not just going to sit here on my heels and hope that this turns. I'll continue to try some different looks, different lineups, and you know, maybe it starts with the starters with a different look. Let's go to Danny and then wrap up with Jacob. JB, Danny Thompson with the three-point conversion. The last six quarters, the team you, the team has hit 11 of the last 51 from the three-point line. Are you satisfied with the looks they're taking? Uh, you know, there's, you know, it's not going. Are you satisfied with the looks they're getting? I think we have some good three looks. I, I, I do. Not all of them are poor looks. Not, not a lot of them are, are great looks. But I think we're getting good looks from three. You know, I watched the Nick, Nick game. We had good looks there. Look, if we if we can't make threes, it's going to be tough for us to score 90 points every night. That's just the reality. We got to continue to shoot threes. We got to make some threes. Uh, we scored 91 again tonight. You know, that's going to be our range if we can't make threes. Um, so hopefully we can get to the free throw line. We shot 17 of those tonight. I think the other night we shot eight. So a little bit better than the free throw line. Uh, you know, eight for 31, we probably need more threes than that, to be honest. You know, that's not enough threes for us to score. So um, hopefully we shoot shoot a little bit better uh, tomorrow night. Last question, Jacob. Yeah, Coach, I know we've kind of talked about Miles a lot recently, but he's now just over 50% from the field and just under 40% from three. I guess what do you make of his jump in efficiency as a, a scorer this year? Yeah, he, he's taken a, a major jump here, you know, to be shooting those numbers. He's worked on his craft, you know, to be fit. I think he's close 50, 40, 90. I think he's right on the cusp of 
doing that in the NBA, which is great for him and uh, and great for us. So he's worked on his game. You know, his three point shot has uh, become more and more of a weapon for him. He's much more confident catch and shoot. As you've seen, you've watched him this year. His his ability to shoot off the bounce is there as well. I like the catch and shoot three more than the off the bounce, but he's been able to make both. Um, you know, he's been great at the free throw line. He's got to the rim. He's been much more efficient at the rim. You put it all together, he's he's a much better player uh, than we saw him at this time last year. So he deserve he deserves a lot of credit. Thank you.